Hello everyone, welcome back to another semester with Media X. I hope you all had a great summer. I spent a lot of my summer checking out some of the new equipment we got, and the one I'd like to go over today is the Flycam 5000 Stabilizer, which is equipped with a vest and a comfort arm. Before we start, it's important to know all the Flycam's uses. The Flycam is perfect for tracking shots, pans, tilts, and more. It can also simulate a much smoother handheld look. The forward momentum will put audiences in the scene. So while a fly cam isn't going to be as smooth as a push-in from a dolly, it's perfect for tracking subjects as they walk. This model is best suited for DSLR cameras, so I'd recommend using the Canon XC15, SL3, or 80D. I've personally found that the 80D was difficult to balance, but accessible enough. The XC15, however, was an excellent fit. Now there's a bit of a learning curve when it comes to using this equipment. Assembling this is also a bit of a chore, so let's jump right into how to build this thing. You'll find all the parts you need with these two plastic bags, which are packaged with the rest of the rig. You'll also need an Allen key and a standard screwdriver. So first we're going to build the handheld stabilizer portion. So getting started here, grab the camera plate, which is comprised of two parts, the main head plate and the bottom plate. The Allen bolts along each side can be loosened to adjust the camera position. But for now we're just going to remove them. So now detach the fly cam's head plate so that you can screw in the camera's head plate to the top. Now it's time to attach the weights to the central post. But before you do that, make sure that those bottom screws are tight. If they're loose, they're going to cause some unwanted rattle, so you may want to tighten them with your screwdriver. Now grab the central post and fasten it to the weights. Here are the parts that you're going to need for attaching the camera plate. This includes one Allen wrench and two small bolts. I'd suggest screwing one bolt in halfway before fastening the other. Now that we're done here, go ahead and attach your camera using the quick mount feature. Now I'd suggest experimenting with the weights in the camera plate before settling on anything. Every camera is going to be different. Depending on the lens size you're using, you may want to keep your head plate off-center slightly to maintain some balance. And the way you'll know it's just right is when your camera sits completely sound and returns to a straight position. Now we're ready to attach the vest and comfort arm. The arm comes with four pieces. The main spring-loaded arm, two supports, one long, one short, and the headpiece. Attaching the vest goes without explanation, but I prefer snapping half of it together before throwing it on. Now attach each arm like you see here. I find that the widest setting for this rig works best with my arm length. This will vary from person to person. Now don't forget this fastening screw that keeps the arms from popping off. So now you're ready to get a feel for this rig. As the operator, you're still going to need to make some precise movements to achieve stabilization. The first thing you'll want to check is the spring. You can tighten or loosen it with this knob here. Casual walking movements will seriously screw up your shot. One method we can learn from here is how marching bands move in unison without bobbling their heads up and down. The same technique can be applied to your camera. This is achieved by rolling your heels as you walk around. Each step propels you forward. There isn't one right way to do this. Use the method that feels right for you to get that perfect shot. Also, don't forget to be safe with our equipment and put away the parts neatly back into their bag. I hope this assembly video was helpful and have fun shooting.